In this video, I'm going to tell you about something called the Euler characteristic, which is named after the mathematician Euler, who was responsible for many important developments in, in mathematics. So the Euler characteristic is about shapes that can be drawn by kind of dot to dot figures. Okay, so we imagine we've got a shape which has been drawn by drawing some points, some vertices, connecting those vertices in, in various ways by edges. And then um, between the edges, there are faces. Okay, so uh, it'll become clear in a moment exactly what I mean by that. Well, for any, any figure um, of this suitable form, the Euler characteristic is the quantity V, the number of vertices, plus F, the number of faces, minus the number of edges. So here's a, a picture to uh, um, show what I mean. Okay, So you imagine that you've got a patchwork quilt here. Okay, So in step one, we've got a patchwork quilt and it's made of, of these patches. So each of these patches is a face and then the points around the edge of each patch are the vertices and then the lines between the points are the edges. Okay, And I'm going to imagine that the patchwork quilt I'm looking at has got no holes. So what, you find, um, what I want to do is I want to actually for this particular figure or for actually any figure I want to count, count up what this Euler characteristic is. Now one way of doing that is to just go around and look at the figure and count, count the number of vertices, edges and faces. But I want to do that in a very particular way which allows us to make some pretty uh, general and quite clever statements. So imagine we've got this patchwork quilt. The first thing we want to do is do a process called triangulation. So that means that if we take this face, for, ex for instance, there are points around the edges. Um, there are some points uh, which we can join up by lines to get triangles. So for instance, if I start out here, I can join up these two points by a line like this, and I'll get a triangle uh, there. And then I can carry on, and wherever possible, I can... Um, Wherever I'm, I've got a face that isn't um, a triangle, I can actually just join up vertices until the whole thing is made up of triangles like this figure over here. So the first step, we start out with our patchwork quilt and then we triangulate it. But the key thing to note is that the Euler characteristic remains the same in this process. And why is that the case? Well, if you look at it, imagine that we draw a line um, to start our triangulation process. We draw a line between these two points here. Okay? In that process, we've added an edge, so the number of edges has gone up by one. But in, in, in the same process, we've actually created a new face. So we had one face before, and now we have two. So every line that we draw to triangulate in this way increases the faces by one, but it also increases the edges by one. So these two changes cancel out because of the minus sign. And so V plus F minus E remains the same. So if we carry on, we can do another transformation in which e, V plus E minus F remains the same. And that's the process of now removing triangles from the outside. So let's take our figure here and let's look at this triangle around the edge. If we remove it by crossing out those lines and removing the vertex, then we'll lose this triangle from the um, outside of the shape. But in, in, in knocking those edges and ver that, that vertex off, we also lose a face. So by removing this triangle, we lose one vertex, that vertex there, we lose one face, this face here, and we lose two edges, the two edges that we've knocked off. And so you see, in knocking this type of triangle off, V has gone down by one, F has gone down by one, and E has gone down by two. But then because of this minus sign, those changes uh, cancel each other out. And so by losing this triangle, we end up with a smaller shape where V plus F minus E remains the same.
But of course this is not the only type of triangle that you could remove. You could also imagine removing this triangle here. And to remove this triangle you actually need to knock off only one edge, not two, but in losing that edge you also lose the face. So you, you'd go edges go down by one and faces go down by one and so indeed again V plus F minus E remains the same. So if you think about it you'll see that whatever way you pull off triangles from the edge of the shape this quantity will remain the same. So we've started out with our patchwork quilt, we've triangulated it and then we're slowly going to remove um, uh, the triangles from the perimeter of the shape and by doing this we end up with a new shape which is smaller but has exactly the same value for the Euler characteristic. So now if we carry this process on of, of removing triangles what's going to happen? We're going to let be left with only one triangle at the very end and if we count up for a single triangle V, F and E we find that V plus F minus E is equal to 1 because there are three vertices, one face and three edges. So you just do the sums and you get 1. So this argument means that to actually calculate V plus F minus E for this whole um, patchwork quilt, we don't actually have to go and count, count them all up. We know that for any two-dimensional patchwork quilt with no holes, V plus F minus E is equal to 1. And it doesn't matter how complicated the shape is, it doesn't matter how many patches there are, this will always be the case. And so it's quite a remarkable and interesting um, pattern which is not obvious when you think about um, uh, uh, the kinds of the diverse range of quilts that you might have. But there's much, much more to the Euler characteristic because it turns out that expressions like this can be used to, to characterize shapes um, in, in uh, three dimensions and also much more complicated shapes with holes in them, etc. So I'm not going to go into very many details because there's a, there's a hell of a lot there and I, I don't know all of it myself. But let's just imagine one three-dimensional shape like this. Okay, So I, my drawing's not great so it might not look three-dimensional but imagine that this is a three-dimensional solid object okay, um, enclosed by this surface. So what you can imagine doing is you can imagine removing the top face and by removing a face V plus F minus E goes down by 1 for this particular object. But now that we've removed the face, we can imagine uh, stretching the quilt uh, and pulling it out and laying it flat. And we can do this because we've cut this hole in the top. So by doing that and laying it flat, we're, um, we're not going to change V plus F minus E anymore because we haven't actually cut any vertices, faces or edges. So then we'll end up with a flat shape for which we know this result from before. So if we put the fact that we'd removed a face in order to lay it flat and then we put that together with the fact that now we have a flat shape, we see that for any closed surface um, made of patches that in, in three dimensionals V plus F minus E is equal to 2. And this is a really neat observation. You can go and check it for various shapes like cubes or tetrahedrons or any crazy sculptures that you might see in, in, a, in an art gallery. And provided those shapes can be uh, represented as, as patchwork figures, um, as closed pas patchwork shapes, you'll see that this is true. And it's a remarkably clever argument. And this argument, although Euler uh, this characteristic is named after Euler. The person who came up with these arguments is a guy called Cauchy, who is another very famous mathematician.